Hey knitters, it's Wednesday, so I'm going to start this video off by talking about crocheting and crafting. Um, I started another mother bear. I mailed off, I think, five bears um, over the weekend. So I started another one, and this one is white, and then it has pink and purple variegation, and it's going to have a skirt. I just like making bears with skirts for some reason. I, I don't know. Um, I started another one, but I didn't like how the colors were coming together, so I... Through, I frogged it and started this one um, and so I'm not very far not even halfway and then um, on Monday I got out my sewing machine because Monday was like a snow makeup day so there was no school or work for me so I um, started working on my Luna Lovegood costume and it's pretty close to being done actually I just have like one seam in the back that I need to fix um, because I can't remember if I went into this or not in my last video, but I was at Kohl's and I saw a tank top. And the first thing I thought when I saw it was that looks like Luna Lovegood yellow flowy Bill and Fleur's wedding dress. So I bought two of the tank tops because they were on sale and I just cut off the like top part of one of them and then sewed it to the bottom. So now it's a dress and I'm going to insert a picture of what I have so far here. So in the movie, um, Luna's dress has some orange on it, and there's actually like a large orange, like kind of semicircle thing underneath the bust line, and the the neckline is a little bit higher than this dress. Um, but I'm not really too worried about like adjusting that and finding an orange fabric that goes with this stuff, um, because I'm just I don't feel like I have to be like picture perfect and. Um, in the book, it doesn't say anything other than that it's yellow, and she had sunflowers in her hair, and that um, her father looked like an omelet. So there's not a whole lot to go on other than that it's yellow. So I think with the wig, and I have Luna's wand that I got at the Wizarding World two years ago, whenever I went to LeakyCon. Um, so I have a lot of Luna elements already and in the book it says that she doesn't have on the radish earrings because Harry says at least she doesn't have radishes hanging from her ears or something but I'm probably going to wear those um, just because I feel like that is like signature Luna and if you couldn't get it from the long wig once you see the radish earrings you're probably going to be like you're Luna Lovegood. So um but I just need to buy shoes, and I'm probably going to, you know, look at thrift stores for those. I just need yellow shoes and maybe, um, like a bracelet or something to, um, you know, accessorize with. But it's pretty close to being done, and I'm proud with, I'm proud of how it's come out so far. So I'll definitely, like, model it or show pictures once it's completely finished. Maybe I'll get out the wig a little bit early, too. Wow, I just talked about Luna Lovegood costume for a long time. Okay, so the theme this week is what websites do you use that maybe not everyone knows about, and I also have two that I want to share with you. And I've learned about the both of these websites through YouTubers, so if you watch these YouTubers, you might already know about them. Um, the first one is Rescue Time, and I don't use it so much anymore, but I did when I was still in school, and it's really great for students or people who work from home and basically you go on the website and you download this free app and it keeps track of your productivity um, while you're on the computer. Not just stuff on the internet but if you're on iTunes or in a Word document or you know editing pictures or videos or whatever it keeps track of what you're doing and then it makes graphs and you can see how productive you are in a day or a week or a month even and um, this was good for me while I was in school. I'm I'm not a procrastinator by any means, but I think sometimes I needed to be reminded that I was doing a lot of work versus like not really doing any like fun stuff on my computer. So it just kind of like, you know, m let me see visually like I did a lot of work this week so I can, you know, spend an hour on Tumblr and not feel guilty about it. Um, but, and it's free, they do have a pro version that you have to pay for that has like more features. Um, I think Hank Green talked about this a long time ago. But like I said, it's really good for students or people who work from home. So I would, you know, try it out, it's cool. The second website is a health website and it's called livestrong.com. 
and um, specifically I use something called my plate and um, again it's kind of like an app and it keeps track it's like a food diary so you can type in a food and most foods it's it's really smart like it will recognize the food for you and then it will automatically keep track of like how much protein you eat how many calories you've consumed how much fat is in that item like all of that stuff and um, so you can use it for weight loss or weight gain or um, you know to keep track of other things like protein and stuff like that um, I'm pretty sure that Haley G. Hoover's talked about it I, I don't know about in a video but I know she's blogged about it before and I realize that food stuff can be a trigger for a lot of people and myself included but um, I don't use it necessarily as a weight loss tool. Um, I started using it when I went gluten free just to make sure that I was getting enough calories and protein and things like that because my diet was going to be radically different. Um, so I still use it just to keep track and it also has um, a fitness tool where you can a kind of like an exercise diary where you can type in your activity and it'll tell you how many calories you burned and stuff like that and there's articles and like um, you know, you can set up a profile and share it or keep it private or whatever, but it's really cool, like, if you're interested in, um, keeping track of your fitness, so, um, it just makes it easy and simple, and it's free once you, you know, sign up for a profile, so I'll put links to both of those websites down in the description. Okay, this video is getting kind of long, so I want to wrap it up, but I just want to say quickly that, um, if you haven't watched... Um, Jenny's new channel that she mentioned in her video on Monday you should go check those videos out because they are quality and I'm glad everyone made a video last week I'm sorry I don't have time to talk about everyone's videos I'm getting faster and faster when I talk but I love you all and I hope that everyone has a great week and I will see Miira tomorrow bye